here. Uh, we're just we're just extremely thrilled to have the opportunity to be playing in the championship game of, of the WNIT, but um, but uh, most importantly to be getting to have the opportunity to host the championship game of the of the WNIT right here in the Dakota Dome, and uh, we're expecting just an incredible game. We've got uh, two very senior laden teams coming out here tomorrow, and and just uh, I have a ton of respect for experience. And so I think it's just going to be some great basketball. All right. Mr. Sarasoff, the questions? They always say you win by senior leadership. Do you believe that to be with these two teams? Absolutely. I just I think there's no question. I mean, we've leaned uh, heavily on all five seniors that we have in our in our program all season long, and um, and it, it just appears that's the same thing that we're seeing in our opponent as well. And they have nine listed seniors on their roster and I think um, when I was watching some of their conference tournament games seven that were you know active and available and, and um, you know some some very very talented um, upper class and seniors that they've been le leaning on as well what did you see uh, in their defense that uh, is going to be cause for concern well, I mean, they just are, they're very stingy. I mean, <laughs> they just don't give up very much. They, uh, they kind of play, um, you know, aggressive, but, you know, pack line. They take a lot of charges. They block shots. They are long, and they're uh, very active and, and aware defensively and, and uh, just have made it very difficult for a lot of really good offenses to, to score points. So, so we'll have to execute to perfection. Nick, are there some parallels between this team and the team you're playing in you and that uh, they had a great regular season, the one blip on it, and that since, since then they've kind of made the most of it? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like you said, they did really well. They play well at home, and they did well in their uh, conference. And So I think them coming into here, it's going to be a good test for us. You know, two great teams, like Coach said, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a good kind of, I guess, um, you know, they're a great defensive team, we're a good offensive team, and we're also a good defensive team, they're a great offensive team. So it's going to be, you know, I think it's going to come down to the kind of the last 10 minutes, and uh, it's going to, you know, we're all going to give it our all, and it's going to be a good test. Nick, what's it like at home for you right now? I mean, are there a lot of uh, other people getting up at weird times of night to, to watch the live stream in Australia? <laughs> what, what's it like for you at home? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the time difference for home for my family and stuff to watch, it's a... Uh, 15 and a half hours ahead, so you know they're going to be getting up pretty early to watch that. And some of my old coaches even said, you know, they don't care about getting up early to watch. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, playing at home here with our fans, the way that they've been, uh, you know, kind of uh, encouraging us these last few games, the WNIT is just incredible. And uh, you know, last game especially was just it was amazing to play in front of that, that kind of crowd. And I think that really helped our team a lot. And I think you know. What it's being projected to be this next game is going to be uh, another great showing, and it's going to be just so much fun to play in front of. Have that kind of big emotional win, maybe Kelly Nicole. Um, any challenges in just getting ready to play a top level, you know, team? <coughs> Obviously, they're you know, ranked very highly in the major polls and well thought of. But how about your your, your mental approach to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is going to be tough. I mean, last, last game we sh shot really well, and so to come into a game, you know, it's hard to kind of be thinking, you know, you're not, probably not going to have a shooting performance like that again, but I think, you know, we've kind of proven ourselves that even if we don't shoot that well, that we can still win games, and so I think we, especially like you said, you know, they're another good team as well, so I think the last game it gave us confidence. We just got to go in there. We play at home. We always have confidence when we play at home. We are treating this just like another game. Uh, it's an on our schedule, so we're going to go out there, play hard like we always have, and uh, the results will take care of itself. Kelly, what has it been like this week, uh, kind of back-to-back -back games here, where the level of uh, engagement with the community has got to be a little bit crazy in comparison to what it was? Yeah, it's just been awesome. I mean, you go to Walmart or Hy-Vee and everyone's like, oh, hey, great game. We can't wait to watch on Saturday. And just having um, community support like that from our amazing fans has been so cool. And obviously, the show out of the games has been unreal. I heard the line for student tickets was outside the muck today. So um, just having that outstanding community support, the community kind of has wrapped their arms around this team. It's been 
What's this mean to your program to be still playing? Well, I mean, there's so many things that um, we're benefiting from with this opportunity, and, and you know, just to, to continue to be playing, it's it's garnered a lot of attention for our uh, for our program, but also for our university, and, and um, we're proud of that. Uh, I think that there's been a lot of you know just coyote support that has just kind of come out of the woodwork, and we're we're just so thrilled to uh, to be seeing that. Um, uh, we feel like it's just uh, an outstanding way for us to to send one of the best senior classes that we've ever had, you know, out in style to be able to have this success and making this run in this postseason tournament. Um, and and our returning players are just gaining really valuable experience from from this um, this competition. So I just think there's a lot of really positive things that have been coming to our program and our university out of out of this um, this WNIT tournament and run. <clears throat> yeah, Kelly or Nick and or Nick, um, you know, you guys have been doing this. Like, Abigail was talking about the last press conference how you've been doing this since August, and you must be tired. But when you get out on the court, on the court, you're talking about how the crowd is you know, great life for you guys, and maybe you start to like how they know you. Is that been what's happening out there? Like, how, how do you feel physically at this point in the season, and, and how does that affect you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely has been a long season, and sometimes I'll find myself in the game, uh, like we did a couple minutes ago, I'm like, wow, I'm tired. <laughs> like, you just, you didn't really feel that at the start of the season, now you kind of just start realizing it, but I think, you know, with our team, we know that we're going to be tired, you know, that's what we've kind of trained for, is that we know that we're going to be tired, and that's what happens in sports, you get tired, but, you know, you stick together with our, like, with our teammates, coaches, and with the crowd, you know, they're kind of spurring us on, and you don't want to let anyone down, we all kind of have that I've got your back kind of mentality and so we're always going to go out there and play hard and not let that fatigue get to us but yeah the crowd has definitely been a huge motivator in that and uh, you know we couldn't thank them enough. I keep hearing this is the last game at the Dome so you guys keep playing. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't want to get rid of you quite yet but this is the last game at the Dome. What's that mean for you, you seniors? Oh I mean it's just Something really special. The Dakota Dome obviously is a historical site to play at, and um, yeah, we've kind of been joking about it. Last game of the last game of the dome, um, but yeah, this really is the last game, and it's just been such a privilege to play for USD and play in this facility. It's unique for basketball, but um, to have the support we've had and just playing here for all of our years has been great. Amy, in these tournament games, it's kind of short turnaround opponents you're not familiar with. Can you tell us a little bit what it's like for the coaching staff from the time that Oregon game ends to, to tip off tomorrow afternoon? Right, I mean, uh, there's no way that we could be having the success we're having without just the most amazing um, coaching staff. The, the, the assistant coaches just have been working tirelessly. They, um, when the Oregon game is over, from that moment, um, they are splitting duties to, to prepare detailed scouting reports on both Florida Gulf Coast and Michigan. And um, then we, by the time we um, have the team over to my house to kind of watch that game between those two opponents, um, they've got a detailed scouting report of personnel in front of them to be able to help, you know, as they're watching the game and, and learning matchups. And then once the game was over and the girls kind of uh, went home to hopefully just uh, rest and, and jump right into bed. We uh, stayed up a little later and kind of had a staff meeting, talked a little bit through everything, and then um, and then they continued to focus. Now everybody on the staff goes into the mode of, of locking in on Florida Gulf Coast and, and preparing for today's practice. And for us, you know, that you know that's kind of the target is we, when we start practice today, we need to have our game plan in place, what we want to do, our strategies, so we can send that a message to our team and, and get ourselves as prepared as possible in this one day of prep.